Today we are in the studio recording a song that I wrote. We're doing all the vocals. We already did all the leads. We're doing harmonies currently, which is possibly my favorite part. I wrote this like in like October and it's July now, so almost a year ago, but it's still really fresh in my brain after making the demo and stuff, so writing the harmonies is a lot easier when you actually know the song. It's just a life song. You are like valuable and beautiful and strong and tough, but not for the reasons that you're saying. You're valuable and this is what about you matters, not just these surface things that you're focusing on. Acting like you don't care. The coolest parts of you are like, you know, the parts that people can see and like how you look and how you act and the crazy stuff that you do. But the important parts are like how you feel inside and not just what your life looks like, but what is your life? Like maybe you look really cool and you have all these cars and clothes and money and you have all this cool stuff, but like, are you depressed? Because if you are, then none of that matters. This album is different, very different but than anything that we've done in the past. I think this album is the biggest collaboration we've ever done as far as all six of us goes. We wanted to throw all the rules away and we really wanted to make an album and a piece of art that had no restrictions. We wanted it to be very like us and we wanted it to be us in whatever way we felt. This is like real emo. Like, I come back to you. I'm just telling you. I agree. And this song, I wrote the entire thing. This is the second song that we have fully written and are recording for our album. Like, we're still in the very beginning stages and not exactly sure where all the songs are gonna end up being, but everything's coming together really nicely from what we've done so far, so I'm excited. So when it comes to the anyway, right here. Right here. I come back to you, back to you, I come back to you. Yeah, and I went to and like you belt it I don't want nobody visiting you. Do you want to punch so it or do you want to so take the whole thing? Yeah. This song actually was kind of a process to write. It started out completely different than it is. All I knew was that I wanted to do that slower section that I come back to you. This is Danny's demo. It's actually incredible. Listen to this. This part is so good. I'm going to cry. It makes me cry. This is her demo. Like she produced this. Everything we do, we put our whole being into every part of it. It's it funny. sketches me so much. I don't like that. Do it for the vine. <laughs> so creepy. That's not creepy, it's real life and you have to embrace it. I don't know why I think it's creepy ever. Be good. It's really cool. But luckily it all came together really well in like a really magical way It kind of came together really fast when I actually like knew where I was going And that showed to my sisters literally like a couple hours after I wrote it and they were like this is so good We have to do this for our album. So here we are <laughs> On this album we took another step forward like literally from the beginning of our career We take step after step forward into how much creative control we have well We have full control but how much of the creative process we are a part of and this album, we are more than we ever have before because our songs are so personal and we're so invested in like the energy of the song and how it turns out. Like we have strong opinions on, on down to the smallest little things. Like, nope, that needs to be short. That should be a little bit longer, like one second of the song. I wanted one of them to like stick out just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I wanted to stick out for sure. There, you don't need all those harms there. You just need, um, my main lead of the bads, and then like one harmony. This album, like every single song, um, Lauren and I and Christina and then sometimes Lisa will be in the room like while they're mm -hmm. mixing, while they're doing the track, like while we're recording, while we're even picking the specific like takes in people's vocals to use. Call. No. Wait, why? Call. No. Call. That was a little better. Baby, I, it's, baby, I, it's, baby, I, it's, Baby, I adore you. For every step of the way, like we have been there. Can you see if you have a flame in there? Uh, I don't know. I would do something. 
Snare Tom. Snare Snare Tom. That's what we should do. It would be. Yeah, like. I'm trying. I appreciate you. Can be really put a lot into each individual thing. Actually, it's very unique for any artist at all in the music industry to be this involved in the production of their music. I want that to be really like. Put that like thing to be like really big. Like this coming, like maybe just like right there. Scoot just the O a little earlier. Nope. Nope. I I don't know at this point. Been doing this for almost six hours. <laughs> we always have like a different idea of harmonies of which ones we want louder. being involved in the studio. My favorite days in the studio are in the studio are doing songs that I'm in charge of so I can just like have a vision and bring it to life. That's always exciting. Even if I'm not arranging the song, I get asked for references a lot like what should we do on this part? Um, what harmony should we do here? I don't know if that note is right. Lisa will know that one. Lise! When it comes to not screwing up your high harmony with the low harmony, it's definitely Lisa's definitely. And I love being able to contribute because um, there's other times where I don't add, give as much. It's fun because you're like creating something that you love and you're like really excited about it. I think for me in the studio, I'm definitely like the mom of the studio. Like I'll always go out and buy like all the groceries and like make sure people are taken care of and get food and stuff. Like if anybody needs anything, then I'm kind of like taking care. Good morning. I feel like Captain just cooks all day. Just the stay. Lord is good too. <laughs> well, they came out of a can, and but so I think the biscuit. Lord. They're actually For the sure. best biscuits I've ever eaten. Oh, oh my God! God. We're just gonna really go. Sorry, Nick. Yeah, we'll do that yes, right now. I did. There are six solo songs on it. We each did a solo song on our group album. So we have nine group songs, and then each girl has one song that is just. Her. The core and the majority of each song is written by the girl who sang it, which is really unique for any artist actually, but that's a really cool aspect that we have on this. So when you listen to our solo songs, like you are actually hearing from us. I wrote all the music, all the lyrics, all the melodies, like each song is like from us directly. So it's really exciting. <laughs> with me today because she can sing low and there's a lot of harmonies that are low that I couldn't do so she's helping me out. A bunch of girls like so and then I saw so the first chorus. When in my head all I see is your face. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. But do it with more bite, you know? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, she sounds so good. She sounds face. so good. Lauren is here today because I can sing like kind of high but not as high as she can and I have a lot of high harmonies in this song. It feels like you can't breathe. It gives you anxiety. So just as I was at her session to do the low harmonies, she's here to do my high harmonies. It's just like a perfect mesh. <laughs> Amazing. 
<laughs> Tell me, do you think of me? <coughs> he doesn't! You're wrong! Well, I guess it's good. It's kind of tender. It's not like you are the sun and the moon and the stars. <laughs> wow, that sounds really good. Uh, good job, Danny. Thanks. Good job, Danny. One of my favorite songs I've ever done, so I'm really excited to record it today. Alright. Time to go get some tacos! You'll start to see her and I'll wonder why She gets to be the one that's on your mind Today, we recorded a song that I wrote which was crazy Um, and I sang all of it Super delicate, I liked it Keep nice. going Let's do this, man Let's do this Do it again, man yep. Thank you It sounded awesome it was really good. And I've never sang this much in my life and it's so hard That was awesome I love it, I love your low register Thank you! And I don't know why I wrote a song I can barely sing, but it's all cool. It's all cool. It's great. You alright? Do you need medical attention? No, I'm fine. Just keep chilling. We have a doctor on <laughs> staff. Okay, cool. So this was a unique process because this song is a song that I wrote, like, pretty much the entire thing. Lauren, my sister, helped me like tweak some parts and she added in a couple of little things, but it was like mainly my words and, or all my words and then mainly my melodies, which is crazy. You say all these things to me. Yes. Lauren and I are on the same exact page with just the whole thing. And I got tired of fighting for you to stay. So I knew that we all were gonna write our own songs for this new album, which is like a pretty radical concept. And I was very nervous because I write poetry all the time. That's like my thing. But melodies, not as much. I do occasionally write melodies and I actually have quite a, a lot of different melodies recorded on my phone, but it's not just like, it's not my go-to. So I was kind of nervous, but what I did for this song, so I went through a really tough, um, breaking things off with someone a few months ago and it's still something that I like feel and I'm kind of getting over today and I just wanted to channel that feeling of when you really really care about someone and you think they're gonna be in your life like even as a friend forever but they're not like things just change and how devastating that feels like that heartbreak it's so raw and it's like shockingly painful so what i did to write this song i i went through i'd written pages and pages about this guy of poems and just words letters stream of consciousness things and i sat down for about two hours and i just sifted through everything i'd written about him and i wrote all the lines that i lo liked onto my phone in a document and then i went on a long walk and I just picked up my phone and I started singing all the melodies that came to mind with all of the lines. And then I sent it all to my sister Lauren and she helped take all the sections that I'd written and put them together. And she like kind of tweaked things a little bit and then added in like, she smoothed out a few little things. So it was like definitely a collaborative effort. But when I first got back the demo that Lauren made of the song, I was in my car. I was actually starting a road trip and I heard it for the first time and I started bawling like because it was so perfect like it was everything that I wanted it to be it was my story it was the feeling that I wanted to capture and I listened to that song probably like 60 times to and from Milwaukee on my road trip and it just I cried so much I feel like it was a healing process for me like it actually helped me in healing from that wound so this song is so special to me and I'm so excited to share it. Um, you sound great, Kat. Thank you. I really like the song too. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah. Killed well, it today. Thank yeah, you guys. You I'm, I'm really like honestly shocked that you, you tracked all those vocals. <laughs> it sounds amazing. Well, I, I don't think I've ever seen times. anybody kill a whole song without leaving the vocal booth <laughs> once. Awesome. It was That's insane. Today we are recording my song, Wrong, for our new album. Very exciting, we're doing solo songs. I just want to feel your eyes looking at me I'm just tired of always being around I'm Lisa. I'm Lisa is easy because she has perfect pitch. So she automatically knows when she's doing the right thing, when she's not. I can't compete just being who I am. Woo! Killed it. Spooky. Killed it.
Yeah. You ready? Kick it out of my safe space. You can sing there if you want. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just bring the mic over there. Just like, you yeah, actually really could if you wanted to. That's horrible. Yeah, it probably would help. Things. Terrible posture. Today is the very last day of recording and we're doing my song, Kryptonite. And <laughs> really nervous because <laughs> I've never gone in to record by myself before. There's like some tension, at, like excitement because you're like, oh my gosh, we're creating the thing that I envisioned in my head. We're making like the real version right now. It's kind of scary. So it's like a really exciting experience. But then sometimes it's really hard. <sighs> I love how nervous you are today. Mm. It's nice. I've never seen you like this before. I know, I never am like this, literally never am like this. Right. Yeah, it's been challenging for me. I don't know, I was pretty stressed in a lot of sessions because I was so like, oh, we're like doing such a big part of this. We have to make sure it's good. It's all me by myself. I'm not made for this, can't do it. So it can be a little bit of a challenge for me being in the studio, probably more than anyone else. Simba. <laughs> <laughs> See, I look at him scream, but I'm making a noise so I won't hurt my voice. He's giving me a pep talk on texting. Chris, you'll be fine. This is rare footage, okay? I've literally never this nervous. I've only been this nervous one other time, and I threw up. I quit. I quit the band right now. I quit. It's a too hard. It's catching me off guard. Backs into every spot in the parking lot. Really happy and really proud of everything. Especially, I have to say, I'm really proud of myself today because I thought I was going to die and I didn't die. So that was a big accomplishment. And I actually like how it turned out. So I'm really happy that my nervous singing turned out to be good. Alive was so different from Up at Night, and those are both so different from this one. It's so cool to see how we've grown and how we've like stretched ourselves and matured. Well, yeah, there's a much more broad range of styles on this project. We have an acapella song, we have some that are more like indie alternative, we have some like really down ballads. There's a huge range of emotions, sounds, and styles. This album definitely feels innovative, like it feels like we've really stretched ourselves. It's cool to see like how we're all so different and like when each girl takes the reins on a song, how like you can see such a contrast, like the songs are so different. Yeah. And like, it shows our different like personalities. Yeah, in every category, I think it's pretty different from our past album. Yeah, and there's such a range yeah. of like, like the depths of your soul yeah. to just like, yeah, like, Fun crush song. Like Catherine's song is like six minutes long Something almost, like and then we have one that's only like two minutes long. And it's a big thing, yeah, an acapella song. A big thing that we wanted for this album was a lot of creativity. Mm -hmm. So we tried to put a lot of like key changes and like different chords and different tempos, like just making the song like more of like an experience, a like a journey, than just one a thing. song. Just one thing. Yeah. We kind of took it as a challenge to make this the most like creative album that we've ever mm -hmm. done. It's good to be so involved yeah. and actually like see your vision like come, come to life. But also it's really draining because you're like sitting there and you're like, it's okay, a lot. that take, that take, that take. You have to listen to like a hundred yeah. takes like, oh, that no, that no. And, you're like, and when you're doing the instrumental, you have to go through like a hundred <laughs> drum sounds to find the one that you're looking for. So Lisa wrote the song we're doing today, which I don't know why she does, but it's Why all, are you taking my thunder? It's all really high. Shut your mouth. Open yes. your eyes, Matilda. Oh, I need to close them when I sing. It's better that way. Just everyone. Not everyone. everyone not. Good. A little more emotion, like passion, you know? Here, listen back. You deserve the love that you're searching for. Kathy, you did the wrong words love. again. You what? That sounded really the good. Love the love that you're searching for. You've been like searching for. Okay, you got it. I literally am looking at the words. I don't know why my brain can't read. Oh, it's because I'm sleep deprived. That's why. Thank you. Open up that beautiful heart. Let the sun at your face. Sun at your bedroom door. Lying on your door? Wait, did I say it wrong? You said lying on your bedroom door. Bedroom door. She put on a big show about how she. It's so low and so hard. It's the hardest thing she's ever recorded. I don't even know how I'm gonna sing my part. This is the worst part I've ever heard. It's a horrible vowel. Horrible. This is you deserve the 
Um, I have to Nine do. hopeless. Why is it so hard? That's open easy. Open up. Open up. No, not open me. Open up. You nope, have to do it. Not no, it's because you, you don't. Oh, in your head, you weirdo. No. Can I do it again? Yeah. You deserve the love! The worst thing I've ever sung! Open up that beautiful heart! Let the sun hit your face! Wow, sounds horrible. Okay. The worst thing I've ever sung! What a joke. Hey. One of your songs sounds hard, listen to my chorus where I was like, <laughs> sound like a metal singer. Let the sun hit your face! Wow, hey, that right? so hard, dude, on the first take. Well, whatever, still gonna Take back your Mix it like, let the sun itch your face. It's like, let okay. the sun itch your face. Itch. Oh, I'll let, let the sun itch, itch your face. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm trying. We'll see. There we go. That sounded so that good. Yeah. yeah. I think we're good. Wow, freaking drama queens. Worst part I've ever sang. I have Never to sang hop anything on the worse squash in my life. and go send it. Hold on. Worst writer of all time, Lisa Cimarelli. She was being really dramatic and then she did it and it literally sounded great and there, was, there wasn't there was even any like awkward voice cracks. Mine. <laughs> Mine was the actual like wipeout. Some real biffs. Episode 483. Lisa being a dictator. All right, let's go to send it. Should I shut it? All right. <laughs> you lost your way. But I overcame it, like always. Ethan and Josh have been so great to work with because they're both really easygoing and like weirdly encouraging. <laughs> that run was actually really stellar. Thanks. Are you a runner or are you a jogger? <laughs> so bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> got, got anxiety. Got, 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 got inside of me. I think this guy is my. Okay, I'm just gonna pull myself together. You know you're a good singer, you know you track vocals in the studio well. There's nothing to like. And you've sang here so up. many times. Yeah, it's not like you're just like walking here for the first time. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like I don't do that anyway. I know. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Once you get in there, you'll be fine. You were like, I want to break up everything, and then you're like doubting yourself in that pre-chorus, and then you just hit that chorus really strong. It's awesome. Bueno más por favor. Gracias, señorita. The mood in the studio with them can be really, we're all like joking a lot and it's really like light. But then, like especially Josh will randomly just be, like I was having a really bad day. I, my hair was blonde and I dyed it way too dark, like bluish purple, it was, it was horrible. Okay, ready, set, go on. Something I already said. Why? It sounds good! Why is everyone screaming? I have a horrible off day! No, so you're great, great Lisa. Hey, technically you're not off today, you're working. <laughs> I was like, I'm not having a good day, and I don't feel like I'm getting this take right, and everyone needs to just leave me alone. I was in the booth, and Josh like goes on the mic, he's like, Lisa, your hair looks fine, I'm really sorry you're having a bad day, you're very talented, you're doing a great job, and just like was being so nice, and I was like... <gasps> hey guys, can you guys be quiet for a second? Hey, you got this, alright? Sorry, you're, not, you're mad about your hair and all, so, okay? <laughs> You're a really good singer. I know you're having a little bit of a rough day, but it's gonna be okay. You're right? being too nice to me. I'm gonna cry. I'm being serious, though. Oh, I love you, okay? Uh, oh my gosh. Like, I felt so comforted. I was like, wow, that was so nice. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you guys know I'm a great surfer? Yeah, I figured. I'm a Christian. <laughs> and I go to Hillsong Church. Church? Oh, yeah. Pause. So did you get that? I was like, ooh, ooh. Two more takes. Hey, get her, Shirley. Get her over there. Let's go fishing down in the creek. I stepped outside my double wide last week and I said, come on down there, Grandma. Grandma, come down there, baby. Catch a couple trout over there. Maybe 50 bucks or something, but I probably won't sell it to you. You wanna get on my air raft? Oh, I'm a happy kid today. Happy little baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're triggering me. Oh my so god. What are you doing? Three. Just feels good. I do not do that. No, those sound weird. What is it? It might be. What? Danny! Oh, oh my god. Wow! Yes! When you find the problem, it goes down in the DM. 
everybody wants a piece of this. I said, I am the cringiest person I know, and someone replied, Sis, we've been new. Instead of doing a mean face, I always do this. That is flawless. I need you. It sounds like someone's That's whispering big. all the words underneath. I want a frosty and fries. I want a frosty and fries. We'll step into the vortex. Let's do it, Shirley. Shirley and Jackal. Okay, there's ooze right there. We can start with that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you get that? You're leaving me this way. Mm. That's sick, actually. Yes, thank you. Um. Uh, Lauren wasn't sure if she wanted to add guitar to this, but Christina was like, no, you have to do it. So we're doing it. It's sounding so good. It's making, it's adding this like whole new thing to the song. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! Oh my god! How do you feel about all the compliments today, Ethan? It's been a good day. Yeah, I love you! It's a rare day. That is not true! She said she doesn't think we've ever had this many good guitar parts on the album. That's yeah. good. It's making me so excited because everyone knows I'm the number one blue stand. So today I've become like more than the number one. She listens stand to it every day. I listen to it every day, and now I'm gonna listen to it twice. Uh, uh. This is why it's so cool that we're all sisters and all this because. Like, as an older sister, like, I never want my younger sisters to pass me up. Even though I'm not gonna be able to beat them at everything, that's never gonna happen. But still, it inspires me to work harder and be, like, semi-good at a lot of things, basically. Everyone's voice is very strong. Like, you can really hear people's creativity. Like, Danny and Lauren, I mean, especially, I think Danny really came out as a songwriter on this album. Like, Danny's definitely written a lot in the past, but she's written like entire songs on this album, which is a first. Yeah. And that's like so cool to see that every person in our group is like, their strengths are being utilized and their creativity is like being pushed. It's really cool because on this album, Danny and Lauren were way more involved than they've ever been before. Lauren was like pretty involved before, but like not this level. Like they did a lot of writing and producing and had a lot more input than they did in the past. So like Lisa always had a lot of input, so that's not that different. But like Lauren and Danny really like stepped up, especially Danny. She had like a lot going on in her personal life. So she had a lot to draw from. So songs were just like flying out of Danny. So I kept hearing like, a, like two new songs every week and I was like, you should put that song on. You should put that song on. You should put that song on. And like, ooh, let me finish that song for you. Like, or let me help with that. I started writing the song and it was weird because I recorded the demo of it. Like I wrote basically this entire song, like 95% of it. It was just me doing like everyone's part. So it sounded really weird. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna show it to my sisters or not, but everyone ended up liking it a lot. And so we ended up putting it on and I'm really happy about it because this is probably my favorite song on the album. Uh, Wherever you want to start. Uh -huh. This is art. <laughs> Amy, if you're gonna be in here, you can't talk, okay? We have enough chatty Cathy's in here already. Oh, that chatty one. Cat. Could you open it a little more? Yeah. Can you do the Sad Girls Club? That line's soft too, the left one? Yeah. Just the rest of the line. Like the second yeah, yeah. one is more like, we don't know what we are yeah. to. Yeah, you get it. You get it. Maybe just get a little more uh, teenage yeah. emotions in it. I try to push it aside. Oh! Yeah. Oh! 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 Yes. I like that. Sounds really good. Just keep it more chill on the run. I wanted this to be like the teenage girl anthem. I mean, really any girl, but mainly teenage girls. Really just about like accepting your emotions because that's what life is about. I think that's a big message on our album. Living in like your sadness and realizing that it's not gonna last, but realizing that it's good for you. This song is really just like an anthem and I like it a lot. So I hope you guys like it too. I'm sorry. When are you not laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I just cracked myself up real fast. Now we need to calm myself down. 
Yeah. And me and Danny actually had like a big influence big on influence. the direction of this album. Mm -hmm. Like we were kind of like spearheading it. Yeah, like we're like we want it to be creative, we want it to be cool, like we don't mm -hmm. want it just to be like yeah. average song. We want it to be interesting, like something that we would listen yeah. to. Because we started writing songs, not together, but on our own. We would write songs yeah. for ourselves. Mm -hmm. That we didn't necessarily just to, like, plan on express. releasing, but yeah, just yeah. to write songs, and it would always be like super creative and like the stuff that we really liked listening to, and we would show them to the band, the rest of the girls, and they would love it too. So yeah. we were kind of just thinking like, why not just put it together? And I think I've written four of the songs, like all of it, just me, and I don't know how it happened. It just kind of like shifted <laughs> and completely changed. But this year, we've made like a complete change of direction, not necessarily in our career, but in our music. Mm -hmm. And it's something that we've wanted to do for a long time, we just didn't really know what it was, but now it's like very clear. I always wanted to do that, what we're doing now, but I was like, Ugh. and Lauren and Danny were the ones who were confident enough to be like, Christina, your demos are good, we should be using them. And then for themselves, they did it with themselves first, because they told me that and I was like, no, they're not. So then when they just did it, they're like, whatever, and they just did it with theirs, I was like, well, if they're gonna use theirs, why wouldn't I use mine? <laughs> so it's like funny because she is usually like, she's like the one that inspires us and like she's yeah. like the big sister. But then she told me this the other day, she's like, you actually inspired me to be confident enough to use my tracks because you wanted to use yours. I was like, yeah. oh my God. I literally would not have decided that on my own. Never would have. So it's the good thing about us being sisters. You know, there's a nice sibling rivalry that pushes you to be better. That'll be a harder one too, so that's good. That was a good burp. Amazing. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness! <laughs> From the depths of the sea! <laughs> oh my gosh! Roast it all, homie. Sorry, we're probably roasting your ears. Are you roaster? Like you're roasting your bros? <laughs> yeah, we're just roasting. Roast in peace? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready when you are. I tried to roll my head, eyes all over my head, but they wouldn't go. No, no. This is just. Yeah, actually, I, I listen. It's not the truth. Sweet. What? best representation of us as a group, yes. better than anything we've done yes. before. It's definitely the best representation of all of us currently as a whole. It's been a long process. I think it's the longest we've taken to do an album before. I think I avoided putting this much of myself into an album before because um, it's scary because the more you put into it, the more invested you are and the more things will hurt if they're negative. So I was always like, oh, I'm just not gonna put too much in because then I'm not too invested, even though I still put a lot in, but this is like a lot in. This definitely feels like our riskiest album. Like I think yeah. we all took the most risks on this album creatively and like stretched ourselves more than we ever have. I'm pretty nervous. And I don't really know why I'm nervous because people's reactions aren't gonna like change my life. Um, I, it's just something that I made that I know that I will want to listen to it. and same with my sisters, like we all made it together, we all love to listen to it and that was my biggest goal is that I am proud of it and want to listen to it like when I'm driving around places because if I don't want to listen to it, I don't know if anyone's going to want to listen to it, that would be weird. So I feel really good about um, what we've created and I love the songs, I'm really proud of how much we put into it. I can't believe how much we put into it, so at this point I'm really proud of it, really excited really nervous but also really happy that finally have some new music that i really want to listen to i'm nervous and excited and really proud of what we've done it's it's a lot of work but it's good work and it's fun yeah. work and i'd rather do it than anything else 